25 years ago, a small community arts festival kicked off in Somerville's Davis Square. Today, it's one of the biggest arts festivals in the area. Rachel Stutz has been an organizer for 13 years. It's a large, community-oriented, multicultural arts festival. But we try and line up a lot of local talent, so it's a way to showcase the creative talents of, of the community. Over the years, Artbeat has grown along with Davis Square. Now Davis Square is booming, but it didn't always used to be booming, and businesses really needed foot traffic, so this was a way to draw people to the square. Over a few decades, it has grown in, in scale, um, and so now, of course, we shut down the streets, we have two stages of music, we have a dance showcase in the Summer World Theatre, so it's gotten bigger. To keep things fresh each year, they now have themes. This year's theme is loops, and performers can interpret it in any way they like. The reason we're trying to bring in hula hooping, poi and Diablo in particular are because the three of them are very loop centric so obviously with hula hoops it's a circle um, with diablo oftentimes you see them moving the diablo in a circle circular motion and with poi you spin it in a circle loops are unique to this year but the open air circus which is almost as old as art beat itself are a regular at the fest every summer they train kids in circus skills at the nunziato field park what we do at art beat every year is we do a, a stilting workshop where we teach anyone who wants to try to learn six years old and up um, for about five to ten minutes each. In addition to the yearly themes, there are also fresh faces coming in with their own interpretations of them. This is our first time playing it and we're really excited. Being from around Somerville except for the one Boston boy, the electronic folk band say Art Beat was always on the radar and were invited to perform this year by one of their friends, Jen Harrington, who works with the Arts Council. They love classic American music like the band and Bob Dylan. Their music is reflective of this with their own spin added to it. Eternals are working towards releasing their second record next year and say that loops are in fact a regular feature in their music. We've been using loops for a while. We had them on our first record as well. On, um, specifically on the song Staging Actors, we used it at the end of that. I'll use a, what's called the delay pedal and um crank up the feedback loop all the way so that it'll constantly be repeating the same note and turn into this long drone and I can manipulate that however I desire. For Somerville Neighborhood News, I'm Nikita Sampat.